Welcome to a very dark and cold BATV coming to you from the Bendigo Bowls Club on day three of the Australian Sides Championships. I'm joined here by Graham Archer and one of us is a world champion gold medalist from Scotland. We'll let you work out who that is. Graham, thanks for your time and uh, you've borne the uh, Bowls Victoria or the Victorian Guernsey again today. How did it go out there? Yes, it was good. We uh, struggled a bit at the start of the game. We were 12-3 down but then our ranks started to play better and we came back and won by eight shots and the team won by about eight shots overall too, so it was a good result after a disappointing morning after losing to New South Wales. As we chat to you now, uh, you can't take the overall honours for the men's um, alley shield here at the Australian sides, but you've had a good week. Yeah, a good week. Uh, the ranks done five wins out of six, so it beats us near the top of the, the skipper's chart. Uh, but overall, we're disappointed to lose the two games with Queensland and New South Wales. We came here for the alley shield, but... So the consolation prize is going, we'll try our best tomorrow to try and win them. How have you found the, cho the tournament? It's a, it's a complex draw and it's uh, four long days. How have you found the championships? The championships have been brilliant. Obviously, I missed the international series back home in Scotland, but to come and play in this against other states, it's a very high standard. And it's very well organised with Bowls Australia, so it's great to play and I'm delighted to play in it. You play for the Clayton Bowls Club here in Victoria. Tell us about how you came to uh, to be there and play in Australia and now play for Victoria. Well, uh, it, was, it was a bit fortunate because I played in the World Cup in Willow two years ago and I got chatting with one of the guys from Clayton Bowling Club and I just made that off chance if anything comes up, give me a shout. And I was working back in Scotland and I got an email out of the blues saying there's a possible job coming up, would you be interested? Next thing I knew, I'm across at Clayton talking to them and... We came up for a job and a contract for two years and I'm absolutely delighted to be over here playing. What is the uh, next year, two years or even longer hold for you? Well next year, so I'm still here for now, full season next season but it's obviously, obviously the build up for the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. The plan is to go back to Scotland in August to play in the 8 Nations Championships which Australia will be in that too. And after that I'll need to discuss it with the head coach back in Scotland how we can work out my training schedule for next year. So the uh, Commonwealth Games is obviously the main one for next year. I just touched on briefly before uh, the World Championships in Adelaide last December. You walked away with the gold medal. Congratulations. Uh, tell us a little bit about that experience. Oh, that was fantastic. Uh, to play any sport and to become a world champion in that sport is something you, it's just something you dream about. And to be across here in Australia and play a cracking final against the Australian boys and to come away with the win was just amazing. It's a one-off, once-a-lifetime experience and I'll never forget it.